Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you the continuing intrigue surrounding Harry and Meghan and the royal family. Well, it seems that Harry has now fallen off his high horse literally. After a devastating trip to the UK, whereby he and his wife were booed and he was very much made aware of his pecking order within the royal family, he apparently left feeling completely devastated. And now, after his recent polo match, he fell off the horse, or rather the horse collapsed with him as well. He's okay after this, apparently, but it's the poor horse which he took down with him, which I feel sorry for. Harry has a history of falling off horses while playing polo, and I think that the horses basically show they've had enough by the way, enough of the way he treats them by throwing him. I've done another video in the past on the subject and basically came to the conclusion that polo itself was not a nice sport for the horses. I had people who were knowledgeable regarding the sport of polo who emphasised that the horses are well looked after and that they rotate them so that they do not play for too long, about 15 minutes at a time. And they stress that it's not a cruel sport and that their priority is the horses. And also they talk about how the horses actually get excited and competitive and they enjoy it. And because it's only 15 minutes at a time, they um, there's no real strain put on them. But I've come to the conclusion that it is the rider that is the problem. Well, one thing is for sure, the rider determines the safety of the horse and Harry has pushed his horse is particularly hard. I'm glad that they can at least throw him off. In this case, it seems that the horse might not have thrown him off, but the horse collapsed and they both went down, which is said as being unusual. More and more comments about Harry's size, that he was way too big to be riding a horse that size, and they're calling out for him to be banned from this. So whether the horse tried to throw him and they both went down together or the horse collapsed, I'm not sure yet which happened. Back to the subject of the polo ponies. Looking at the photos, Harry looks way too big, definitely too tall for his pony. And there is one photo in particular where the horse looks more like a miniature. Its legs are so short and he looks so small, even the head, compared to Harry. I'm surprised that they still let him ride and I'm surprised he still wants to after his pony named Drizzle died after being led off the field, having had a heart attack. In this case, what Harry was doing to his horse looked to me to be awful. He seemed to be putting all his weight down um, by standing and pulling the bridle so the horse looked so uncomfortable, especially in its mouth. It looked as if it was very painful. An expert did say on Cora that in his experience, it can be cruel for the horses and the number of times he's seen blood before they rinse out the horse's mouth. Another expert went on to say that it was safe and that that sort of treatment wouldn't happen with his polo ponies. Basically, it seems to depend on the rider. I'll put the links to these things in the description. There are many comments calling out Harry for treatment of horses. What bothered me was the fact that they said he went through three horses that day. And it didn't, they didn't make it sound as if it was a rotation thing, which is normal. They made it sound as if he'd finished off each horse, but maybe they were just putting it out this way to make Harry look even worse. I'm surprised he didn't actually get thrown three times. Maybe that's why he's going for smaller horses now, less far to fall. Well, it was embarrassing to say the least for Harry after all the negativity of the UK trip to come back and try and do something he enjoys and feels quite quite big about and get thrown off in front of all his friends. It must have been a bit of a kick in the teeth. And now to have people calling, calling out for him to be banned from the sport, what is he going to have left? The photo of his friends, Catherine McPhee and her husband chatting with Harry, looks odd to me. And yes, I'm thinking this could be another photoshopped picture. In the photo, we have his friends and their child talking to Harry, who is sitting down. 
What also is in the picture is a pair of crossed legs, which looks very much like Megan wearing trainers. And I thought it was Megan due to the very slim ankle and very large shoe. There is more about this picture that doesn't look quite right. Behind her, or rather behind Harry's friends, it looks as if she would be sitting in in the tyre well of the car, but the angles of the vehicles and the spacing just does not look right. What do you think? Take a look. Is this another one of her photoshopped attempts? Well, another photo which has got people talking is the one where Nacho's wife has her arm around Harry's neck and is very close and leaning into him. They're good friends, so it's probably just that. But some are saying, what if William was doing that? It would be all over the papers and they would be saying that he was having an affair. True, I suppose. Others were saying that she was just comforting him. For what? Messing up his life or falling off his horse? So I'm reading now that Harry actually collided with three other horses in his enthusiasm. So I'm thinking he probably was showing off to his friends, especially the the one he calls his father, which is the 72-year-old David Foster. And I think he was just basically showing off. He apparently came away from the UK feeling really, really depressed. So he basically used a poor animal to try to impress his friends. And I'm not impressed. I don't know about you. Let me have your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please subscribe. Ding my bell for more alerts for more videos. Like if you liked it and share. Bye.